Hello everyone, welcome back to your channel. If you are visiting the channel for a very first time, then this is my small introduction. I'm thankful for each and every member because it's just you and only you who is helping me and this channel to grow. I thoroughly enjoy learning and sharing Salesforce knowledge with you. Please keep watching, sharing and motivating others to subscribe to your channel. Let's start with today's topic. So today we are going to talk about some tips for getting your first job or if you are looking for a job change. And I guarantee you, if you will take these points in your consideration, you will for sure will see the positive changes towards your success. So let's get started. So the first tip is importance of explaining project in an interview. Now, we will understand why it is important and how to explain. See, in introduction of the project which you have worked on are as important as introducing yourself because you explain what is the project. That means you share the complete in-depth details of project, which include the domain like healthcare, banking, finance, or any other, which means like you have developed a project or you have worked on a project. You, you show that this project belongs to this particular industry. So we have the industries like banking, healthcare, automobile. So domain means the industry, the customer, the client. Now, not only in technical interviews, but when you speak to recruiter, then also recruiter wants to know the details of the project because even though you have a required skills, for example, a, a job position need a Salesforce developer or an ASP.NET developer or a Java developer or any other skill developer or any other the position with any other skills. But the first preference will be given to a person from same domain. And you know why? Because it is expected that the person will be familiar with the technical terms used in the domain and have at least basic understanding with one of the subdomain of that business. Like when you speak to a banking and finance domain industry people, they have their own terminology, which they use on a daily basis. Now a developer, if, uh, if a developer will have the experience working in the projects of a banking and finance domain, he or she can understand the requirement easily. Or let's say a business analyst want to understand the requirement of a customer and a business analyst have the previous experience working with such, uh, such customers from the same domain, for example, if they have to understand something from the healthcare industry, then there should be the familiarity with the technical terms of the healthcare industry. 
just consider it like this if you are a if you are from a non medical background will it be very easy for you to understand the the technical terminology of a medical industry or a medical science or let's say for a medical industry may uh, from a person from a medical uh, background is it that easy for him or her to understand the it industry so every industry have their own terminology that's why it is important to mention the domain of the project because that makes your makes your selection chances more successful as compared to any other competitor sitting beside you now when you explain the project explain the project well like why it is in use how it is going to help the customers how to use then it gives a clear an impression that how well you are familiar with the project how well you have understood the requirements how well you can understand the requirement because the first phase is understanding understanding the requirement and then only you can think and develop the functionality there's a very funny example which you might have seen previously but i would like to show you to explain my my words easily to you here the client have a requirement and the client is tr is trying to explain the requirement to a business analyst but see how different is the understanding of the business analyst and then the business analyst is understand is giving the understanding to the developer so how you know the total mismatch we have in the actual requirement and what we have delivered and at last finally what we have delivered so always show that yes you have the right skills to understand the requirement after this always share the total man power in the project that is your team size this always gives the confidence to interviewer that you have generally worked on the project and it's not a fake or a cut copy paste from someone's resume once you complete your explanation with this part start describing your contribution which includes your role highlight your key contribution like the module you worked on challenges which you have faced and how you found the solution to that and last but not least duration of the project remember this will help your interviewer in understanding your technical skills your strength and your weakness now one more thing which is a common question common struggle 
among all of us. That is gaps in career. And I have a very fantastic example, very inspirational example to share with you. That is the experience or a, I should say the career history, career summary of Dr. Parag Agrawal, the chief executive officer in one of the renowned social media platform, one of the renowned social media application, Twitter. Now, see how he has started his career. He is he's an IIT Bombay alumni and have certain gaps in the in the in the work experiences i mean in the after working for my, in the uh, microsoft he then he took the career break he worked in the yahoo some career break and sort of you know you can see this is the linkedin profile of mr uh, dr parag agrawal See, everyone have the career, uh, you know, some sort of the career gaps, some sort of the, you can say, uh, discontinuation. But it all depends how you utilize those time. Even though if you have the career gap or if you are planning to take off from your career for a certain uh, time. It's up to you how to utilize. Are you going to use in learning something new to brush up your skills? Now, being from the defense uh, background, uh, my family is serving into defense. So I can you know, give you a wonderful example which many of my friends ask, and they have a very, you know, a wrong sort of the theory in their mind. Generally, in the armed forces, we have a two kind of the posting, and the one of the posting is known as peace posting. And what the civilian background people uh, think that during the civil, I mean, during the the peace posting. The armed forces have nothing to do. They enjoy the life. They play golf. They do party. They enjoy the family time. But this is not truth. During the three years of the peace posting time, they prepare themselves for the upcoming challenges. They learn new skills, which is required in their industry, in their domain, in their institution to face the upcoming challenges. They do study all the past activities which have occurred in the worldwide and they learn lesson from those incidents, those, those accidents to overcome such situation and to respond in a very less time in a very effective manner. There's a famous saying in the, in the armed forces. If you will sweat during your training, you will bleed less in the war. So during the peace timing, during the peace tenure, they sweat and they sweat so hard so that they can protect their country with a very less 
or minimal casualties. I mean, this is the truth. Every war wants some casualties. And this is why our armed forces pay the casualties to, to safeguard the country, to protect we citizens, we citizens. So for us as well, in this cutthroat competition, it is required to keep sharpen our sword with new skills. See, when we, when we heard about Tesla, everyone's reaction was, and still everyone's reaction is wow. But this is also truth that when every common man can afford the car like Tesla, then the drivers may lose their job because the technology will replace. So it is the duty of a driver to think and to enhance the skill so that the time when the time will come to hit his job, he will have something to fulfill his, his dream, to survive, to, to, to take care of the family. It is also truth that technology, when we when we talk about the artificial intelligence, when we talk about, you know, the, the new, the phase of a technology, it is making our life easy. But gradually, these technologies are replacing the humans. We are becoming dependent. If today, just for example, take an example that you want to, you, you want a warm water. You just, you just press a button and the geezer will, you know, the, the, uh, will give you the warm water to bath. If the, if the geezer, we will, if any house will not have the geezer, then what the, what the, that family will do? They will go. They will, they will arrange the wood, put the water in a vessel and will make it warm. But another family which have a geezer just have to press the button. So the family which, which do not have the geezer is, is putting the time, is using his, his or body to arrange the, the wood to, to get the warm water, whereas the another family which have the geezer need not to do any sort of the extra efforts. Technology replace the effort. So having said that, even if you have the career gaps, career, career, some sort of the uh, career breaks, utilize it, utilize it in your own benefit. And the example I would like to give you. Today in the banks, we have the cashier. Cashier job is to just to count the money. Then we introduce a machine there. 
Now cashier just put a you know a bundle of the notes and the machine counts the currency. Someday, because we we do not know that which company or which you know the, the researchers is working to uh, to entirely replace the cashier. So maybe in upcoming few years, if you will, if you will be, if you will see that you know there is no cashier available, and a machine is is helping you, then you need not to be surprised enough. Already, if you go into uh, the banks, there is a machine which helps you in 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 updating your passbook. And if you just go a few years back into your into your into your life, there was a person who whose job was entirely and only to help you by updating your passbook. Now you go there, you insert the passbook, and you get it updated. Technology replaced the human. So it's up to you how you decide to enhance your skills, to survive, so that you can take care of yourself, your family, your nation. Now, the, one more topic I would like to discuss with you, and that is how to ask for a referral or how to email your resume. This is something which I have noticed. And uh, many people have the, the doubt that they, they send their resume to so and so person and they uh, the uh, they haven't you know heard back from the from from the person uh, now how to get the the response from the from the from from the person who is referring your resume or how to you know the ask for the the reference in the organization now very first thing is understand when any person share the job positions to you, then he or she is sharing the n number of job positions. Out of the n number of job positions, one is suitable for you. So if you are emailing your resume, just mention in a subject line, the job position you are interested, location, and experience. With this, the person who is referring your resume will understand your requirement, and it's easy for him or her to submit your the candidature against right job available in the organization. Because when somebody shares the job position, the person gets n number of resumes. And to find out or to submit the every resume against right job position is quite difficult because this is just a kind of a help he or she is doing. But the primary job is something else for, for him. So always ensure to mention the skill, the experience, and the location you are interested in a subject line. And the same when you ask for a referral, always show that you are interested in this particular job or you have these skills. Do not, do not you know, expect the person to read your resume, to read your, you know, the, the, uh, your entire career history, and then to help you. This video I have recorded for, uh, uh, I mean, uh, on the request of one of our brother. Uh, and I hope that this is going to help you, uh, all of you who are watching this video. Any sort of, you know, the mother video you need, any topic you need, let me know in the, in the comment section. I will be more happy to share my thoughts and I will be, I'm always open to, to, you know, to welcome your 
your opinion, your thoughts, your suggestions, and uh, any in any way I can help you. I will be more happy to help. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Keep learning.